Hi everyone, welcome back, and for those of you who are new here, my name is Melody, and today I'd like to show you how I made these bunny wreaths using some Dollar Tree items. I was in Hobby Lobby not long ago, and I was inspired by these wreaths that I saw there, and I thought, hey, I could probably make something like that with Dollar Tree items. So what I needed here was some Dollar Tree floral, and also some of these Dollar Tree bead wreaths. I was actually lucky enough to find these, however I did have to go to at least three or four stores to get everything I needed. You'll also need some sort of string or twine, a glue gun, and some really strong and sharp wire cutters for this. First off I need to remove the tag, and then what I need to do is I'm going to go ahead and separate this, then I go ahead and cut it in half with the wire cutters. I did decide to remove a few beads just because I thought it would make it easier for me when I went ahead and folded it over and connected it. And I'm only connecting it like this temporarily just so I don't lose any beads. Next up I'm going to go ahead and start working on the bunny's head and right now I'm just trying to decide how big I want to make the head. Once I've decided how large I'd like the head to be, I go ahead and separate it, remove some beads, and then cut the extra wire. I'm going to go ahead and spray paint everything. What I should have done was I should have waited and attached my ears to my bunny head first and then spray painted, but you live and you learn. All right, I'm going to go ahead and use this Rust-Oleum chalked paint in blush pink. It's one of my favorite colors. It did take several coats, I have to warn you. Now that we've got those painted and dried, I'm going to go ahead and show you. It was a little difficult to get in the nooks and crannies here, as you can see here. So it might be better to hand paint that. However, I was okay with the way it turned out. Now I'm just going to go ahead and undo this because I wasn't thinking when I did this. I needed to remove more beads so that I could actually attach the bunny ears to the wire. This is why I think it probably would have been better to go ahead and attach it first and then spray paint it. I'm going to go ahead and try and attach these ears to the wire here. It was a little challenging for me, but I did get it. I tried to get a close up for you so you could see how I attached it. I just went ahead and bent the wire around the wreath. The ears were a little loose, so what I did was I went ahead and used the glue gun just to kind of help stabilize it a little bit. Here are the florals I picked up from Dollar Tree. My bunny's looking a little bland right now. Don't worry, we'll cover up those bald spots with the floral. This is the fun part. Just go wild. Do anything you want with it. To finish this off, I go ahead and add a string to the back so that I can hang it on my door hanger. For this next wreath, I'm basically doing the same thing. The only difference is I am going to attach the ears without removing as many beads. That's because for this wreath, I really don't want to use any floral. What I'm trying to show you here is keep this at the bottom. <laughs> You'll see later, I didn't. <laughs> As I was working with the ears, I had somehow moved it. Here I am attaching the ear to this wreath, and the only difference is I did leave those beads there. It was a little difficult <laughs> to attach it, but I did get it on there. And here it is. Now as you can see, that part, it's not really as centered, but it does work out pretty good. 
I was fortunate enough to find this at Dollar Tree. It's a little clip-on bunny tail and I thought this would be perfect for this project. I just went ahead and attached it right there towards the bottom. Now I do realize that these things can be difficult to find at Dollar Tree and hopefully there will be another alternative that you can maybe find either at Dollar Tree or at another craft store. I was also very fortunate to find this pack of 10 bunny paws. So basically that was it. I just went ahead and hot glued them to the wreath. I also used a little bit of hot glue for the bunny tail as well. Oh, and yes, and of course Gidget had to get involved. Here I am trying to yell at her, get her to stop. Oh my gosh, she's like a little acrobat. Oh, don't worry, she was okay. I did go ahead and add glue to the joints on this rabbit. That does seem to help the ears stabilize quite a bit. Here's what they look like hanging on my front door. Well, what do you guys think? I think they look pretty good. I actually think they look a little better than the Hobby Lobby ones. They cost a lot less too. I hope that you enjoyed today's craft idea and I hope that I was able to inspire someone. Thank you so much everyone for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you enjoy this content, please consider subscribing. Thank you so much everyone. I'll talk to you soon. Bye bye.